Hey y'all, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here. I'm super excited about today's video. If you don't know me, I've dedicated my life to help you become everything that you can be in life and in the electrical industry. I'm here as a free resource to you anytime. You can just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Really excited about today's video. Recently on a job, I was shocked by 580 volts on a job that didn't even have the service connected. I was out on a temporary pole situation that was going to be used as a permanent pole from the customer in this jurisdiction. The utility actually allows you to mount the equipment right to their pole. Which is a new situation for me because where I normally work at, all of my power companies will not allow you to mount anything to their poles. But I was out here in a new area, a dear customer of mine from local had bought land like almost two hours away and said, I just got to have you install it. I said, no problem. I would love to do it. So I'm out there working for a power company that I've never worked for. And so I'm mounting the equipment to the pole and I left my conduit long enough that if we had to come back and set a six by six, we'd be able to unscrew it. So you'll notice that my conduit runs in the action shot video are a little bit longer than I would normally have. And they actually hook up the meter disconnect combo. So before I got there, the meter disconnect combo was already installed by the utility. The meter was not in, so there should be zero volts, um, you know, available on the load side of this system. Well, when I got there, just to be thorough, I went ahead and took my tick tester out, made sure nothing was ticking on the can, got to rocking and rolling. At this job, I was installing an RV receptacle, which we're getting ready to see here in a few moments. I have some on-the-site footage. And I was also installing a quad receptacle on this location to give them, you know, just some 110-volt power. So, with that being said, while I was there, I was shocked by 580 volts, and we're getting ready to find out why. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor of this video. It is FreshCoffeePlease.com. If you guys are not drinking fresh roasted coffee, you've got to get in the game. You can use the coupon code CODECOACH and save 10% off your order. They ship it by the pound or they also do a subscription service. It's super awesome premium coffee. I'm going to do a little bit more information about it later in the video. With that being said, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, y'all, so here we are out in the field, and this is when things really start to get crazy. I was in the middle of putting the quad outlet in. I had already set the RV box. If you notice at the top of that center, the, the meter's not set, so there should be zero voltage. But this is when things start to get hairy. Right there is an old cable phone box, and it was just laying there. I didn't think anything of it. I'm down on my knees, grounded, doing my work, and putting in that RV box. And the next thing I know, that line right there shocks me. Now, it was bent down closer to where I was at. I do not remember touching it. I don't ever remember contacting it, and I would, should have not been grounded. I had knee pads on, and I had good boots. I truly probably wasn't grounded where the voltage is so high, I feel like it jumped and bridged the gap. But anyways, I'm sitting there working, and next thing I know, I get this wicked shock. It comes off of that line right there, and I'm like, oh, it's probably because it's not grounded. You'll notice that the utility company there did their own grounding. We probably wouldn't have grounded like that, but it was the utility company that did it. And I'm getting ready to maybe hook it to, you know, one of those split bolts. And I'm like, hey, if you ground this, that voltage will go away. Well, I pull my tick tester out and that thing fires up from several feet away. I told the customer, I said, hey, let's pull back and punt. Let me pull out my voltmeter. And when I pulled out the voltmeter, sure enough, it had 580 volts to ground. Now, we do not know how this voltage arrived on this cable line. There should never be any more than probably 90 volts on an old phone or cable line. If you look very closely right there, there are three more of those lines. All of them are energized. It's setting there laying against the back of the can. So not only was that one over there, there's three more lines running that are pinched behind this can. It's amazing that the utility guys didn't screw through when they were screwing their meter disconnect combo to it and get hit by it. It would have absolutely exploded, even if it just tapped the side of the can. So very thankful that I didn't just go to ground it, you know, and it really makes me uh, cautious and very hesitant to be around any cable line. So like I said, always check the year of the equipment you're on, make sure it's not faulting, and then check every single wire in the nearby area. This absolutely could have killed me. It would have been very disastrous. I was out there by myself. Thankfully, later the customer came out to the land. They were working out there that day, but I would have laid there dead for some time by myself. So super important. You guys know that I just want to see you guys win. If there's anything that I can do for you in life or business, always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.
This video is brought to you by FreshCoffeePlease.com, shipping fresh roasted coffee directly to your door. If you've never had fresh roasted coffee, then you truly haven't lived. And they've got it set up super simple. You can buy it by the pound, or you can do one of their subscription services, and they'll send it to your home every month. You just select how many pounds you'd like. You select whether or not you want it whole, bean, or ground. And then you just go to car. And during this time, if you will use the coupon code, code coach, you can get 10% off of your first order. I'll put a link down in the description below. Let's get to it. Let's get to it.